Florida. 23 miles, uh, 38 kilometers. I'll get you the splits back at the uh, studio. Oh man, so here's how it went down. Hold on, let me get, so we got, we got three mile warm up in the Peg 35s from Nike. The Reebok Float Rod Run Fast Pro, six miles in these guys for the threshold effort, and then 14 miles in the Audios 4s, which I think puts us over 50 miles for this guy, so you know what that means. And yes, this is my, uh, this is gonna be my first impression of the Reebok Float Rod Run Fast Pro, publishing at three o'clock today. So my, the second video publishing today Holy smokes. So like I said, I don't know what my splits were, but uh, I have a feeling we're on point for what I wanted to hit today for that threshold six miles in Washington Park, which I will just add is definitely not completely flat. You know, it's uh, it's got some rollers in it and we are at 5,280 feet above sea level. So it's um, it's an honest, honest course, I would say. Probably my guess would be for every two and a half mile loop around the park, I'm guessing you gain and lose about 150 feet of elevation. So just like, there's just rolling hills along the way. So, all right, loading up. See you at the studio. Oh, I'm excited. Almost forgot to mention cup practice I didn't drop any cups and uh, I, I did learn one thing I think it's going to be a, a sticky proposition in Cleveland just like the Gatorade splashing all over me and I definitely was doing the pinching tip that you all left in the comments two days ago so just pinching it so it doesn't spill everywhere and then drinking it actually it worked really well but I guess I need to be a little faster pinching it down but moving at you know 520 pace um, I definitely was spilling it all over myself and so anyway it's just gonna be a sticky situation I have a feeling all right see you at the studio Marathon training continues. It was just a great day. Okay, I'm gonna read you the splits here. Warm up, 740, 720, 746. And then, so today was a three mile warm up, six mile threshold, and then a 14 mile middle distance run right after the threshold. So for the threshold, here are the splits. 521, 521, 515, 521, 516, 522 oh baby baby and then uh, it looks like I averaged about 655 to 7 minute pace right around 7 minute pace for the next 14 miles for the middle distance portion which is right about where I want it to be I wasn't looking at my watch at all all by feel just going just all by feel listening to the legs and uh, I'm pretty excited about this situation let me just oh man oh so good day uh, okay let me pull up what is today today is March 26th so it's amazing so this training block officially started January 1st seems like a long time ago now and now this is the third threshold run that I've done in this training block and guess how many I have to go three to go it's amazing so what I'm doing is a threshold run every two weeks so my next one will be on April 9th I'll go back to the exact same park so the first three I did a three mile threshold a three mile threshold and today a six mile threshold in two weeks from now I'll do a nine mile two weeks from then I'll do 12 and then the last one which will be early May I'll do a 15 mile threshold as one of my last hard efforts uh, leading into the Cleveland Marathon so that is what it, that's kind of the the breakdown of what I'm doing and the reason so uh, you know gosh it, I've seen different training plans out there uh, do threshold runs every week I prefer 
I prefer to go every um, every two weeks in order to put more aerobic base in the bank in between each threshold effort. You know how much I love building up that aerobic base first before going fast. And so today, yeah, I was going pretty fast, 520s. Like that's, I guess I'll just bring this up right now. That's where I want to live. That's where I want to live, right there. 520s, 520s. Keep in mind, so that's my goal race pace for Cleveland. 518, really. 518 a mile, that is the goal race pace. And tip of the day, here's here's how you, oh my goodness, this is, this is critical for getting ready for a peak race. You really want to practice your goal race pace pace all right so for me it's 518s for the marathon so today was basically right at like 519 520 probably and let's say you want to break uh 21 minutes for a 5k that means you want to practice 650 per mile because seven minutes would be 21 minutes and you can't forget a uh, 5k is 3.1 you can't forget that point one so you want to go under seven minute pace uh in order to get your legs used to going at that speed and it's just training yourself to listen to your sensory data so your sensory data is everything in your body that is all connected your kinetic chain from really your lower back all the way down to your feet like you should be able you should over time you should be able to feel feel out without looking at your watch and just say to yourself okay i know in fact this might be a good test for you you should go, don't look at your watch for like two miles on a run and just say okay i want to run eight minutes per mile in this workout or i want to run 620 per mile don't look at your watch and just see if you can get as close as possible to those splits in order to train yourself uh, to get that feel in your legs, feel in the, the upper body, feel in everything, your breathing, and be like, okay, I'm dialed in, right at, for me today, right at 520. Like, I knew I was dialed in. I did look at my watch a couple times, but I could feel it in my body. Like, this is 520 pace. So anyway, that might be an, an interesting challenge if you're kind of struggling to hone in on your race pace. As we like to say, dial it in, baby. Dial in that race pace. And yes, I did get tired, just so you know, at mile 21. So the last two miles, the splits, let's actually look. The last two miles were they were still interesting okay well that's good i felt really really tired for mile 22 and 23 648 653 basically it was hot you can probably see the the sweat on my brow i was hot out it was 70 today the first time it was in the 70s since october here in denver and and so i ran out of powerade uh on the 14 mile middle middle distance run after the threshold so anyway and why not let's do it keyword is cups. That's right. That was fun to practice with the cups. Again, I didn't drop any, but I need to work on keeping the uh, the splashing down a little bit and keeping in mind like they might, I should figure this out, like will they have volunteers in Cleveland? Like sometimes a volunteer will hold it on their hand. Sometimes they'll like hold it with their finger. It's crazy out there. It's just crazy, but it's fun. Okay. Question of the day. Are you shooting for a PR in 2019? If so, at what distance? All right. And yes, uh, the second video publishing today at 3 p.m. Mountain Time will be my first impression of the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro, which, yeah, we'll probably talk about PRs in that video as well. So that's the question of the day. What distance for your PRs in 2019? And maybe throw out some uh, some goals as well with respect to race pace and hitting those PRs. All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it. I might do a little more filming. We'll see later. Uh, I'm gonna basically go take care of my body now. Seek beauty. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. Mm, dial it in. Mm, dial it in. And love each other. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Come back now. Come back now. Come back. You hear?